I think we meet at a time which is extremely positive for the African continent. We constantly hear, read, and see that our continent is being regarded and spoken of as one of the more favored destinations for investment and growth today. In fact, in recent statistics, which indicated the 10 most successful economies within the next five-year period, seven out of the 10 countries were African countries. So clearly, the time of Africa has come. We believe that the creation of IND is part of this positive African momentum, and thus our success will lie in our ability to effectively utilize what we regard as very, very significant and important regional collaboration and planning in order to create economic development and prosperity on our continent. Africa has committed to increase collaboration and investment in science and technology. The 2007 Heads of State AU Summit declared the year 2007 as one for building constituencies and champions for science, technology, and innovation in Africa. And it gives effect to the partnerships of champions called for by the African Union through its commitment to turn fundamental research findings into innovative treatments and tools that will be available and accessible to patients throughout the continent. As a continent, we are not yet at the forefront of research and innovation, but we do as Africa have the potential to become a world leader in five or six key scientific disciplines, and clinical research is certainly one of them. The potential for building a seamless connection between basic science research to clinical research is one which we need to exploit fully. This will require us to work hard to create strong laboratory support and infrastructure for clinical research and to translate these facilities into the application of novel technologies and solutions in the field of health. We need to do more on diagnostics, on vaccine production, and on drug production, so that our scientists play a full role in innovation and new drugs development. We do on the continent have the skills, and Andy has begun to illustrate this through the teams that it has begun to develop. We have researchers spread across Africa who are involved in groundbreaking research, but they need to get the necessary support and acknowledgement within Africa. Again, as Andy, we are seeking to do just that. We also need to draw on our skilled brothers and sisters in the diaspora in order to create a multinational combined front in the quest for African solutions for Africa.